high scene racers. It's Everlast. Today's episode is about Ambilight. If you are here, you probably know what it is and how it works. Maybe you even use similar lightning or planning to make it. I made this video because I've seen many similar projects and the final result isn't always satisfying. Today I'll show you how to build your own Ambilight using just 180 LEDs and what software is necessary to control it effectively. Let's get started. Let's start with building the device. The part list shown is selected for lighting using strips with 180 LEDs. If you decide to build an identical lamp, you can safely use these components. Ventilated enclosure as well as many other projects are available to my Patreon supporters. Here we can see two possible ways to connect the strips as well as Arduino code where we specify the number of illuminated LEDs. I'm using the first solution displayed at the top. First what you need to do is install the Arduino IDE. You can download it from the Microsoft Store. Then if you plan to use the Arduino Nano, you need to install these drivers. After downloading them, extract them, run the setup file and click install. The next thing you need to download is the Arduino sketch, which contains the code to control the lightning. Additionally, for installation, you will need to download this library. Place it on your desktop, we will add it in a moment. Connect your Arduino to the computer and launch the device manager. Then, in the port section, check which port your device is on. Launch the sketch. From the menu, select Sketch. Then, add library zip and choose the fast LED library from your desktop. Since I already have it added, I'll cancel this operation. Next, go to Tools and select Arduino Nano. From the processor, select the Atmega 328P and then select port that we checked in the Device Manager. Let's move on to the code now. The only things you need to specify here was at the beginning on provided illustrations. I mean number of LEDs and data pin 6, which refer to D6 socket on the Arduino. In my case it's 60, even though there will be 180 LEDs glowing. Before uploading you can verify your code. Then press upload. At the bottom you should receive information if everything was successful. If you have trouble uploading the sketch, disconnect the USB devices, restart the computer and try again. 
After installing the sketch, it shouldn't be a problem anymore. For controlling the lightning, you can use either apps, the Sim Hub or the Prismatic app. In a moment, I will explain why I'm back to the Prismatic app, but I also show how to enable it in Sim Hub. First of all, I can create any layouts of areas from which the LED strip takes the color. You can adjust all these blocks to specific car and save them as a preset in profile section. In SimHub for some reason I couldn't adjust it in such a way. Also I mostly miss the option where all LEDs close with the average color from the selected screen areas. It definitely affects the amount of light entering the room and uh, make it easier for cameras like for example GoPro to record video in better quality. Ok, now I walk you through my prismatic configuration. In this window you probably have to experiment a bit because the program assumes by default that you wrapped with the LEDs back of your monitor following its shape. Of course you can adjust any of the settings as you like them the most. Anyway, there are plenty of options to choose from. Now a brief about SimHub. Go to the settings, then select plugins and activate the ambient light plugin. You might need to restore the application, but after launching it, you will see a new tab on the left side where you can play around with your lighting. I hope that in the future SimHub will expand this module with more features such as those I showed in Prismatic. So, that's all. If you decide to build your own lighting this way, all I can do is wish you luck. Let me know in the comments how it went for you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.